Hi class, Miss Sylvia here. I'm gonna read you another story today about dealing with big feelings. So today we're gonna to hear a story about Sophie. So this is Sophie right here. And so sometimes Sophie gets angry and not just a little bit angry, but a lot angry. So the title says, when Sophie gets angry, really, really angry. And it's written by Molly Bang. That's the person that wrote the words to the story. So she wants us to learn about Sophie and what Sophie does to handle her big, big feelings. All right. Sophie was busy playing when... My turn! Snatch. Her sister grabbed Gorilla. Oh, said Sophie. Yes, said her mother. It is her turn now, Sophie. And her sister snatched Gorilla away. <gasps> Look what happened to Sophie. Sophie fell over the truck. I wonder how Sophie's feeling after that happened. <gasps> oh, is Sophie ever angry now? So to remember, how do we tell if someone's feeling angry? We look at their eyes and we look at their mouth and we can look at their cheek muscles. We can see her, she has a scrow. Mm, she looks angry. She kicks, she screams, she wants to smash the world to smithereens. <gasps> smash. She roars on red, red roar, roar. She's a volcano ready to explode. And when Sophie gets angry, really, really angry, she runs, bam. She runs and runs until she can't run anymore. Then for a little while, she cries. Sometimes I cry when I get angry too. Now she sees the rocks the trees and ferns. She hears the birds. So we try to hear what's going on around us and see what's going on around us. She comes to the old beech tree and she climbs. She feels the breeze blow her hair. She watches the water and the waves. The wide world comforts her. Sophie feels better now. She climbs back down and heads for home. Squeak, squeak. Can you guys see the little mouse right there? Say hi to Sophie. Here's her home. I'm home. The house is warm and smells good. Everybody is glad she's home. Everything's back together again. Our whole family together again. And Sophie isn't angry anymore. The end. So while we should stay in our houses or where our grown-ups say that we can go, just like we were talking about, where's that safe place in your home or at school that you could go to when you need a little timeout or a little break to yourself? Sophie ran to a birch tree and she climbed the birch tree and she looked around and she felt all the things that were happening. So we can go to our safe place and we can get connected. Let's listen and feel and hear and let our bodies calm down and then we'll feel better again. Well, thank you for listening to the stories, friends, and I hope you have an amazing weekend and I can't wait to see you in our Zoom meeting next week.